we have a great story to give you. Uh, have you, you know for a long time that wind energy has been used to power things, homes, other buildings, but it currently supplies about 4% of our country's energy and should be more, but it may be able to do something much larger like maybe build cars to a factory. Well, Honda's making a big bet in Ohio uh, and the Weather Channel, Dave Malkoff, come here, Dave, I know you're here, come here. Uh, Dave Malkoff has is, is got the story I see and, and so right after that we'll talk about it, but here's Dave's story. <laughs> Building a car is such a complicated process. Auto manufacturers build giant facilities that make nothing but transmissions, four-wheel drive products. Those complicated parts that shift your car from first into second gear. This location is positioned at one of the highest elevations in the state of Ohio. And one of the windiest. That's why this one Honda plant wants to ship the entire auto industry, a business built on gasoline, to renewable power. Can we walk inside this thing? Yeah. Tyler Jewell's family installs these three-armed beasts, so that's 200 feet to the top. Can I go up there? Uh, not with all being client certified. <laughs> oh, no! Wind turbines are nothing new. However, using them to power a North American auto plant is. So now we've got two cameras on you. I'm going to start your recording, and then we're going to send you up here. It's a hard climb that takes a good 15 minutes to do. Let's take a look up top. Wind's starting to pick up. You can really feel the tower moving underneath you. Can you guys hear me down there? Quite a view. Tyler's palms are never sweaty. By this point, yours may be, so let's head inside. So it's roughly 6,000 megawatts to run all this. 600 of them come from the wind. That's correct. About 10% of our electricity needs on a daily basis. And this isn't some kind of green energy pet project. This is a major auto manufacturer who takes raw steel, sends it through an electrical heater. Look at that. It comes out red hot on the other end. They press it and it becomes a gear blank. Wind energy, powerful enough to melt steel from this to this. This is the template. This may be the leading example. Oh, we got a little weather. An example of what may be blowing in the wind for American factories of the future. These uh, two turbines were just installed two months ago, and they've been performing very well. Now we gotta say that Europe is a little bit ahead of the United States when it comes to this kind of thing. That's why we have to qualify it, that this is the first time they've done it in North America. In North America, yeah. okay. Are you going to get CLIMB certified? He, that's he, said, I came he, said, he said you can get CLIMB certified. He teaches a class right. over in Minnesota. Mm -hmm. I definely want to do that. I've climbed a, th a, a 300 foot construction crane before, yeah. so I'm going to do that. That made me a little nervous yeah. just to see yeah. that. Yeah. But it wins my favorite story of the day, Dave. Oh, yeah, again. Yeah, yet again. <laughs> yet again for you, sir. Oh, Maria. Dave, thank you.